Hi Cancer, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of April 2017. My name is Guru Shakia and I've already shuffled your and pulled your cards. Um, they're laying here right on the table and I'm going to raise it and show it to you guys. But basically I am a medium and I channel messages um, and I just use my tarot cards to spark my intuition. Um, but basically this is gen a general reading so keep in mind everything will resonate with every person but you can book a reading with me to get something more specific to you. So let's get right into it. The first card here is the waiting game. So some of you who are single single in dating, um, you're waiting for the, I feel like this is a person just waiting in their love life, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and my guys are saying give it time. Um, there is someone in your vicinity, if you're single and dating, Cancer, in your vicinity, um, but they haven't really, like, spoken to you or reached out to you, or, to you or your schedules don't align, my guys are saying. Um, this is, this is Cancers who have someone specific in mind that they want to date, but there's not enough time, I feel like it. And this is the waiting game. It came up reverse, so definitely, um, I do feel like since it came up reverse, though, that this waiting game is over. So this month, you will be getting together with your crushes, crushes Cancer, um, especially school came up. So if you have crushes in like a school, um, gym came out, so maybe gym class. Um, this is also college Geminis. You will be meeting someone um, um, in the vicinity of sports or um, hobbies or taking up extra courses, curricular activities. So this is for um, any Cancers in a dry route in their dating life. Um, things will be turning around this month. Um, some of you who are coupled um, and you feel stagnant in, as far as growth in your relationship, I do feel like that's coming to an end as well. Um, things will be speeding up, per se, and I do feel like there will be couple trips this month, um, group getaways, meditation getaways, things of that nature. Um, this is also a spiritual card, so maybe um, your spiritual practices have been put on hold for a long time and you're going to get an opportunity to go to a retreat. Um, and delve, delve into like deep, heavy meditation and meeting groups of people who are spiritual just like you. So, um, and again, my guys are saying, give it time, give it time. So if you're waiting for a relationship to basically grow or blossom, um, I do feel like you're in the corner just waiting for someone to call you or waiting for someone to contact you. Um, if you're, if this resonates with you, my guys are saying, give it time. This person will reach out to you, um, but I feel like they don't have a lot of time on their time on their hand, and I do feel like this person, um, foc their focus in general is just elsewhere. Um, this isn't a person who likes texting, basically. So maybe if this resonates with you, that's why they aren't reaching out to you. Um, and uh, basically, they're more person that's they're they're better they're better conversationalist in person one on one. Um, so basically, and there is like a breakup here, so some of you guys are just weeping and crying, um, you're going through a healing process this month, so I wouldn't be too concerned with dating my guys are saying, or like jumping back out there too soon, because some of you guys do want to just hurry up and like, like, you know, go to the next person, but that, that wouldn't be wise, my guys are saying, so use this, this, this month as, um, a healing period, especially if you recently got out of a relationship, maybe like a month or two ago. Um, this definitely is a high school atmosphere energy or college even. Um, so give it time. My guys are saying, um, practice self-care and, um, things of that nature. Yeah. <laughs> so some of you need to be careful of the, the friends you choose this month, Cancer. Um, the card Deception and Ivy came up. So some of you are actually, since it came up in reverse, some of you are actually getting rid of a lot of friends who no longer serve you. And then my guys are saying about time. <laughs> so um, basically, get rid of all the friends that you feel give you bad vibes, who hold you back, who always shoot down your ideas. Um, get rid of those people. Distance yourself from those people. The negative gossipers, spend less time with them. Um, the people who aren't allowing you to grow or be creative. Um, the friends who always have something bad to say who always gossip about, about you, who text people bad things. Um, this gives me an energy of someone who's been spiteful to you before and you give them multiple chances, but I think they're going to get cut off this month. So, um, and then especially be wary of the friends who act one way in front of you and one way in front of other people. Um, I wouldn't, don't trust this person, my guys are saying. So if you get this energy and this resonates with you, don't trust that person. <laughs> um... And then some of you guys are battling with your persona in a sense, so uh, how others see you. 
um, and how you see yourself is completely different. Um, like, I feel like you see yourself as, like, ugly, um, but others see you as, like, pretty and la 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 la. Like, uh, I feel like you do have a bunch of secret admirers, so if this resonates with you, um, and you feel like you're ugly, I feel like, uh, my guys are saying you do have a bunch of secret admirers, um, to you, you may not think so. Um, I do feel like the word Tumblr came up, so maybe you feel like you have to look like all the girls on Tumblr and Instagram, but that's not even ideal, but you, you have a natural beauty about you. Um, maybe you have natural hair, maybe you think it's, like, nappy or afro, but that's the thing that's appealing to you, your natural beauty. Um, and my guys are saying, spend less time on social media for a lot of you cancers um, who are having time with self, uh, having a hard time with self-confidence and things of that nature because social media is this basically why um they only have certain amount of standards on there that they go by and you aren't one of them but that doesn't mean you aren't beautiful you're just not this cook cook cookie cord <laughs> cookie cutter image but yeah again um watch who you hang around i do feel like someone from your past cancers may be coming up um especially if you're in a couple this might be an ex trying to come up and sabotage your relationship um so he might he or she might come want to come over and like oh hey i just want to talk i want to see how you've been or what's up but they want to like sabotage you like maybe take a picture with you and put it on instagram like type of stuff like that like they want to sabotage you like they want to catch something live or screenshot or something they're very vindictive so um if this sounds like uh it resonates with you don't allow this person back to see your life because they are especially if they ask to come over they're trying to like um sabotage your relationship so watch out for that um, again, minimize your gossiping or your time around gossipers. Yeah, and work on your throat chakra. Next one here is mental conflict. So a lot of you guys are battling again with your inner self and your inner truth. Um, some of you, some of you feel very intuitive. Um, I do feel like some of you are on the verge of a spiritual awakening, cancers, but you're not. You're not quite sure how to handle it. You feel like people will think you're crazy or weird or insane. Um, <laughs> but I feel like you just, you are in the beginning stages of a spiritual awakening and you're not quite sure how you would tell your parents or anyone about it, but the, the, the words YouTube did come up. So maybe you should start a channel or maybe you should research, um, like my channel or infinite waters or things of that nature about the subject or any, just Google the subject, um, delve into it for yourself, um, the, peop the right people will come, my guys are saying. So maybe this is also a person who is in a very depressed energy about being alone, about being single, or about being just, uh, like, feeling alone in general. Um, I do feel like there's an illusion that you're alone more so than you're actually being alone because this is like a person in the crowd. You do feel alone, but I do feel like, my guys are saying, meditate more, eat better. Mostly meditating will help that dissolve and that fear go away or that false reality go away um and then look into getting um in some more interesting hobbies and things of that nature because i feel like if you're a cancer that doesn't have much to do or much interest try to find some interests or things that may interest you my guys are saying so some of you guys need to give up um like hard drugs or things of that nature or just habits that do that no longer serve you because a lot of you guys are holding yourself back from new experiences maybe you don't leave the house um maybe you don't go out when your friends ask you maybe you don't take up dates when they when they ask you out <clears throat> but these are some of the cancers who are actually refusing love altogether um you're just saying no and um basically you're just being stubborn my guys are saying like um my guys feel like they're, they're saying that they're trying to shake you out of this um stagnant energy or this dark energy you've been in for months now um they're sending people in your life to get you out of the house but you prefer to be in the house type thing and um because there's a bunch of light around you there's a lot of friends that are like come on come on like get out for once um but maybe something happened to you in the past um, maybe someone broke up with you maybe someone did something to you called you names um but you just refuse to get out the house now and my god is saying allow these people to love to love you um, and stop being so stubborn and cold. Um, you do need to get out and exercise um, for a lot of cancers um, who've been who's been at home and dependent, you know, just, just like depressed and things of that nature. Um, 
do try getting like a rose quartz or something to help you to uh, learn how to love again and um, welcome love. So yeah, stop fighting it. I feel like, like I was saying, I feel like a lot of you guys feel like love is in the, in the air or it's in the atmosphere or you've been being asked out on dates. Um, stop being so repellent, my guys are saying. Um, so you, you never know, you might like it, my guys are saying. So allow yourself to have experiences if this sounds like you. Um, especially if you want more happiness, more fun. It's like, I feel like you low-key do. But at the same time, you're being just very stubborn because you're just used to being at home and depressed and things of that nature. So yeah, the last card here is intuition. Um, there are new money opportunities in the atmosphere of cancer. Um, um, a large sums of money, but especially if you're an uh, entrepreneur. Um, there will be plenty of money, um, especially if you're in a corporate atmosphere, if you're looking for promotion. promotion. This month is an opportunity of loads more money my guys are saying and I feel like some of you feel the promotion coming because you feel like you've been doing such a good job if you've been being complimented in your in your work life atmosphere you will be promoted this month um you will be getting more money um continue to pray and continue to manifest your dreams because they will come this month so again that's basically it cancer hope you guys like this reading